All right, Kenman here, and today we have another excellent choice. Uh, interesting, crazy, silly unboxing. One of those ones I found. Uh, we'll see where this takes us. <laughs> Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I purchase everything at retail price. And I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. All right, here we go. Another excellent choice from the Amazon. What is it going to be today? Boom, another secret reveal to come. Bag on the floor. What is this? There is no distinguishing writing. What have we gotten ourselves into today, Kenman? Right across the side of that box. Here we go. Like I said, I, I was kind of uh, searching through the old interwebs and that was on the Amazon. And when looking at one knife down, they had like suggested other knives or other things. And I clicked on one of those. And then that click showed me this one. And I was like, hmm, hmm, yeah. Let's give it a go. Open the box, Dan. Let's get into it. All right. Got this nice little slip. This kind of, I don't know if it's leather or faux leather. Black with kind of an orange slip. Take the knife out. Look at that. What are we getting ourselves into here? Mini bag on the floor. Look at this. So, anybody uh, is familiar with knives, they might recognize what uh, what we're kind of looking at here. Um, there was nothing on the thing. Does it even say on the box? It does, but you can't read that. It basically says Tresnan 6.9 inch fishing camping folding knife. Pocket knife, outdoor utility knife. There it went. Okay. We have a gravity knife. Sort of. I mean... We do. All right. So, like I said, this is the on uh, Amazon the Tresnen T R E S Z E N six point nine inch fishing camping folding knife. Clearly a style of gravity knife. Um, a little different because the gravity knives I've seen before, generally like this piece that slides up. Is on both sides and on this one you can see this slide up is only on this one side so in my right hand it actually fits perfect it's kind of basically it's become like a righty style knife there is no pocket clip on here um, but it has the slip that I guess you put it in the slip then you put that in your pocket and then that prevents it from opening there is a spring in here so you can see when I open that and let it go, it just naturally springs closed. And so in order for that to stay open, you need to be applying that pressure and physically holding it open. As soon as I let go, it springs shut. It's not super tough to move over, but it is strong. You can see it slap shut pretty quick. Um, there is a little tab that is on the blade. So basically when you're moving this over, it's opening this channel allowing that tab, well now I'm getting caught, what am I getting caught on here, to slide up that basically rides out and so you can see that little tab right there is what the blade is connected to and it rides along that channel. So when it's all the way down here there's a little notch that basically locks it in so it can't slide out and because there's that um, spring on there 
that spring is keeping that notch down in there, basically preventing it from doing anything, which is kind of sort of like a safety lock. But once you move that over, get it out of the way, tip it that direction, it's basically gravity fed. So gravity will feed it out, gravity will close it. So you let that gravity, <laughs> oh, I'm kind of fidgeting with it. I'm a lefty and uh, boom. It's really actually not that hard. It's kind of one of those things you just got to get kind of used to the way you hold it. And I think the way it fits in that channel, sometimes it's getting stuck on something because like right now it's sliding really good. Maybe I just need to break it in. <laughs> What do you think about uh, the unboxings I do of these weird, crazy, strange, silly, inexpensive knives? Enjoy them. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. You know, this is a cool knife. If anything, this is more of just a fidget factor. So what are we looking at here? We have um, a basically the blade is a 5CR15MOV. So we are looking at kind of a, eh, not the uh, strongest of steels. Probably won't hold an edge very well. Ah, actually feels kind of sharp right now. Um, I have, uh, if I reach across here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, not terrible but not great. But uh, I wasn't buying this for the sharpness. I was buying it because it's essentially a gravity knife. And most gravity knives can be quite expensive. This one was quite inexpensive. I think they're around $25, $30. That action isn't so bad. Um, as a lefty, you can do it. All right, um, so the handle is made out of aluminum, kind of an aluminum body. So there's just basically that pivot and that spring right there. The blade is just kind of sandwiched, kind of stuck inside this frame. But you can see it's a kind of a two piece sandwich screwed together with the pivot. And then this third piece right here with this little pivot, which allows it to do its action. It's actually kind of a fun little toy. Um, you wouldn't be, if you wouldn't really want to buy this, I would say for doing uh, work, like if you're going to be cutting a lot of boxes and stuff, but if you just need something fun that's just opening letters or something at work, that's kind of a fun action. Even with the left hand, not so bad. And the fact that the blade, it's kind of weird because that blade is on one side, but when you do it with your right hand like that, it's kind of in position to do the work. And when you do it with your left hand, it's in position to do the work. It's interesting. I, I, you know, it's kind of weird. You have to be careful because if you're reaching across, your thumb kind of can catch it with the left. But I've found it doesn't seem to be too hard to kind of just push, use these kind of areas. I guess that's kind of like the, they make those as like a grip. Kind of thumb gets stuck in there pretty well or not stuck, but acts as like a grip. So there's some jimps. Along the bottom right here, nothing across the back, which is kind of weird. You think I'd put some right there personally, or maybe some on the blade if you're choking up on it. But these down here kind of feel nice. That's why it's like it'd be kind of nice to put a couple of those up top. <laughs> Let's get some kind of close ups of this thing. It's actually not a bad looking knife either. I mean, open and closed, this closed kind of frame, this aluminum with the gold finish. It's kind of a nice touch. And then that blade, <clears throat> excuse me, just has the Tresnan logo there, but other than that, there's no marking or writing on there. They didn't really need to show off the 5CR 15MOV steel. Don't need to get too flashy with that. Huh. I, uh, you know, I honestly am fairly impressed with this after kind of messing around with it a little bit. It feels fun. There's a fidget factor, you know, that alone, just having this on your desk and just messing around with it um, it is kind of fun. All right. Let's measure it up. Treat it like a normal unboxing here. Ooh, that is a hollow grind. 
How about that? I can see the curve on it right there. I didn't notice that before. You could maybe get that nice and sharp, but how long will it hold it, you know? Seven inches. Comment below, you wanna see me do a sharpness test, see how long we can actually get that edge retention. I do need to kind of mess around with some blade steels and just, you know, the more different types you try, the more info, info or knowledge you can attain, I guess. So yeah, uh, just under seven inches overall, tip to tip. Um, blade is about three, a little less than three there, and about three and an eighth over there. Uh, about three and an eighth, yeah, uh, more like three inches of cutting surface because it kind of stops right there. A little bit of a belly to it. Handle, if you go corner to corner, is like four and a quarter, but you're looking at about just under four inches. You could say it's about a four inch handle. Okay. Mid kind of size knife. Blade stock thickness at the top is pretty thick. Ah, actually, it looks thicker than 10. Really? I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of deceiving. Just with when I'm holding this, it looks like it'd be thicker than 10, but I guess it's 10. That's about average, really 10 to 12 in this size range and about half inch for a bullet or a handle so 0.46 so it looks thicker because this is thinner and it just getting that uh, uh what's the word optical illusion kind of trickery and size okay weight is definitely heavy 3.88 i do everything off of the CJRV Pyrite 3.67, so it's really pretty close, almost the same as a Pyrite, just a little bit heavier, but it is a, a thick aluminum stout handle, so that kind of makes sense that it uh, feels dense and it's got some, some uh, weight to it. Um, like I said, that Pyrite is a pretty common mid, not quite full size knife. I always compare everything with it because it's just uh, that Standard that everyone in the knife world does, should see. If you haven't seen a Pyrite, just check one out and get great deals on them. Many different types available. But the Pyrite is a little bit bigger, maybe a quarter inch longer in the handle, and maybe just a little bit longer in the blade, but cutting surface is near the same because you do have that little forward finger choil on the Pyrite. But they are pretty close to the same. I would say uh, like that new Migron Parasum that I've been kind of messing around with. I did the dye on this. Here's another one in white. This is what color they come. Um, little, this one's definitely a little bit larger. What's everyone think about these? Boom. Action seems fairly good. That uh, spring is solid. The aluminum handle feels good. Everything feels solid about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot. I guess you could have play. There's going to be some blade play a little bit because it's sitting inside there. It kind of is acting like, you know, an out the front switch blade where that's just going to always be something when you have a blade that's in a, in a slide out like this to, to have that have no play is a little bit different of a style. But the way that that's in there, it's locked in there good. That's not going to push out. You really have to get that pretty far. And then if you do, it, the fail, the blade is disappearing. So unless your finger is up next to it like this, so then it would be slicing across the finger, um, a fail, you know, wouldn't necessarily have as, as negative a consequence. Although there isn't much there. There's that grip here that kind of keeps you from riding forward but you could easily slide up onto it. Um, but again, I would say anyone who's looking to get this, you're not looking to get this for a major utilitarian kind of a tool. This is more of a fun desktop uh, toy that you can kind of, <laughs> toy. Um, it's definitely a knife. Like I said, I don't know how long the sharpening will, re will retain with that blade steel. But it's fun. It looks cool. Tresnan, Amazon. Interested? Check one out. You know, but let's say this is what you want, but you, you want something that you're actually going to carry on a regular basis and use. I would recommend something like the uh, 
Kaiser Drop Bear. Check out a video for it right there. But this has all the same kind of fun fidget action that you're getting with that gravity knife. But you're also having a knife that's strong, solid, got a good lock on it, and you can use it. Kaiser. I got a good affiliate. Check it out. Uh, the link down at the bottom. But if you're looking for something fun, check one of these out. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.